What's up WordPress community? Thank you for joining us for another video in our how to series. Valerie from WordPress is here and in this beginner friendly tutorial I'll show you how to add a cookie notice to your WordPress website using free plugins from WordPress repository in just a few clicks. So wasting no time, let's dive in. Really quick before we get started, I suggest reviewing what cookies and a cookie notice are. Well, cookies are small text files that are stored in a user's device when they visit a website. The default cookies used by WordPress are session and comment cookies. However, most WordPress admins often add different plugins to their websites, bringing a wider variety of WordPress cookies into play. Websites are not allowed to store cookies on the user's browser without their affirmative consent. As a website owner, the responsibility of respecting the user's right to privacy rests on your shoulders and if you have a WordPress website, it needs to comply with the privacy laws like GDPR in Europe, CCPA in the USA and others. To ensure compliance with these laws, you'll need to display a cookie consent notice that appears when a user for the first time lands on your website. It can be in the form of a banner or pop-up. This disclaimer tells visitors that the site is using cookies and informs the visitors that it is collecting their personal information. Consequently, a cookie notice is a mutual agreement between a site and its users. WordPress does not include a cookie consent notice by default, so you'll need to use a plugin to add one to your website to comply with the cookie law and other privacy laws. Luckily, we have a wide choice of cookie plugins, and for this video, we've chosen all-time favorites loved by many WordPress users. Right now, I'm going to show you two top options for beginners. Cookie Notice is one of the most popular cookie plugins at WordPress.org, where it has five star rating on almost 300 reviews with over 1 million downloads. It's a good option if you're looking for a simple solution for displaying a cookie consent notice on your WordPress website, thus helping it comply with certain cookie consent requirements under the European uh, GDPR cookie law and CCPA regulations. On activation, we see uh, this new cute cookie. Let's click on it. And the first thing I should point out, uh, there are two parts of the plugin, cookie notice and cookie compliance. Cookie notice, um, so this is a simple website banner that notifies your visitors about your site's cookie usage and lets visitors give uh, consent in different ways. Cookie compliance, on the other hand, is a full-featured consent management platform that takes into account guidelines from over 100 countries and provides detailed options to users for managing their privacy. And for example, users can choose to allow some cookies, but not others. The cookie notice uh, features are 100% self-contained in the plugin, while the cookie compliance features require connecting to the developer's web application as well. You can choose to use just the cookie notice features if you prefer. Uh, so you're not forced to use cookie compliance or connect to your site to a separate service. So for today's video, um, we'll only use the plugin to display a cookie notification. So keep in mind, uh, this plugin will start to display a basic cookies pop-up to your visitors right away without any 
additional configuration. But of course, we can't miss the chance to scroll down to see all the options for customizations. The default message is suitable for most websites. If you'd like to customize the notification, you need to find the Notice Settings section. And from here, you can customize the pop-up message and button text. You can also add a link to your privacy policy page by selecting that page from the Privacy Policy drop-down menu. You can also give your visitors the option of refusing and revoking consent. To do that, just click on the Refuse Consent and Revoke Consent checkboxes. What's more, it's possible to enable reloading the page after the notice is accepted. Also, you might want your users to accept the notice on a scroll or when clicking on the page, or both. Uh, then we have a drop-down with its help we determine the amount of time that the cookies should be stored when the user accepts the notice. So it can be one hour, one day, one week, one month, and so on. The same with the amount of time that the cookie should be stored when the user doesn't accept the notice. If you scroll down to the Notice Design section, you can choose the position, animation style, and the colors of the text, button, and bar of your cookie consent pop-up. You can also set a button class to add custom CSS for your pop-up. And once you've finished, uh, click on the Save Changes button to store your settings. And you can now visit your website to see your cookie consent pop-up in action. Sure, it's worth noting that the plugin's customization options are rather limited in the free version. Nevertheless, they are perfect for newbies. CookieS is another star of the cookies world and one of the most popular plugins. It's been installed on over 1 million websites and has over 2,000 positive reviews. First and foremost, install and activate the plugin. After activation, on the left hand side of the screen, click on Cookie Yes, and this will take us to the plugin settings where we're going to configure the plugin. To start, we want to click to the Customize Banner button, and this will then take you to the section where we can tweak the settings and layout of the cookie banner. And from here, if you look uh, to the left, you'll see. We have four sections presented. To be more precise, these are General, Layout, Content and Colors, and Custom CSS. Then, depending on what you have selected, uh, the settings will display on the right-hand side of the screen. And we're going to be configuring the most important aspect so that you can get it up and running. First things first, and from the General tab, you can change the template, which is the type of notice. And if you click this drop-down, you'll see that you'll also have the ability to create either a GDPR or CCPA notice. And if you want to display both of these, you'll need to upgrade to the paid version of this plugin. And as for the geo target settings, so we'll leave these default settings in place. What's more, you can even preview your banner by flipping this switch on. Of course, there are also additional features uh, you can check out, like the language settings and the privacy generators. Let's move on to the layout settings, and from here you can change how the cookie notice displays on your site, and there are a handful of options to play around with. 
uh, like a banner or box. So choose the most appropriate uh, for your site. And the preview feature will be the most welcome in this case. Love this feature. Okay, next adjust the color scheme. By default, the color scheme is light, which gives you a white background. Uh, it's possible to go for dark, which will give you a black background. Now let's open the cookie notice settings. This is where you can change the content and color of the notice. Uh, so depending on the color scheme of your site, you can change the color of the banner to match your style. As for the buttons, uh, click the color swap and this will open a color picker tool or just enter the hex color code if you know it. As for me, I leave the default settings in place. Now I suggest opening the revisit content button settings uh, to ensure that the revisit button uh, doesn't appear. So I don't want to interrupt the user experience. So I'm simply flipping this switch off. Now we can publish the changes and make them live. All right, let's check out our banner on the front end of our site. So the banner is displayed at the bottom of the screen in the right corner, as I've chosen. When the user scrolls, it stays in place and they can either accept or reject all. And this will make the banner disappear or they have the ability to customize their settings. So clicking this button opens an additional pop-up screen where they can configure the settings to their liking. The final thing you can do is have the plugin scan your site to see what cookies are being used to track your site's visitors. So go ahead and click on Cookie Manager. From here, you will be able to manage, monitor, and scan for cookies on your site. If this is what you need, go ahead and sign up for the Cookie Yes web app. With all that being said, it's essential to have a cookie consent notice on your WordPress website in order to remain compliant with international privacy laws and to build trust with your visitors. We are lucky there are many plugins available that can help you display a cookie consent notice. And in this video, we've explored a couple of top options. Hope this tutorial helped you. And if you found it useful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.